<gasps> right, guys, you all right? So a lot of people have been asking me, but Nissi, where the hell have you been? being at Cambridge Vlogs been. Nissy, why have you not provide been <laughs> what? Nissy, why have you not provide been providing us with being at Cambridge Vlogs? Guys, I am so 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 very sorry that I have not been available. One, I have been so extremely busy. And something's about to play on my phone. Okay. Anywho, one, busy. Guys, busy ain't even the word. I've been hella busy. That's number one. Number two Oh, and by the way, I'm going to the UL right now. You guys probably recognize it by now. I'm headed to the UL in my little culotte. I'm dressed so comfortably right now. It's magnificent. Anyway, busy. Two, I lost the charger for my vlogging camera, which meant that I couldn't actually use my vlogging camera, which then meant I was using my spare iPhone to film stuff. But then guess what? The iPhone doesn't want to cooperate and work with me right now. So, yeah, it doesn't want to cooperate with me. So all the footage that I have on the iPhone, I cannot seem to get it onto like my laptop or to my emails. I've tried to email it, I've tried to export it with a USB, it just won't work. But basically I've bought a new charger for, what do you want to call it, for my camera now. So clearly you can see I'm using my camera again. Um, but what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try one more time to export the footage of just things that have been going on in my life and what I've been doing and try and insert it. So, if I get it to work, I will insert it now. So, good morning guys. Um, I'm currently using my iPhone to vlog because I left my camera charger at home in London. So, um, I think my glass are a bit wonky right now. But anyway, long story short, I left my camera charger at home and um yeah i think that's where it is anyway because i can't find it and it's peak because i can't film because the battery's dead now on my vlogging camera and there's no way i'm carrying my really really big camera so um at first i was like oh my god i can't vlog then i was like wait hang on i have another phone this is my new one and this is my old one that i'm using to vlog right now to use to vlog with right now so i thought i might as well use it do a bit of an annie dreyer and uh, do a bit of an annie dreyer and see excuse me my glasses are wonky because my wig is like tighter on one side than the other anyway i'm off quickly to the library drop some books back and then making my way to a lecture i pray i'm not late oh, look a hot mess <clears throat> so beautiful people Another day in the cup. Another day, another hustle. Still using my phone, even though I went home on the weekend and I forgot to get my uh, charger. But I've realized that as I've been filming, vlogging even, I haven't completed an entire day. So my challenge today is to complete an entire day of vlogging, lectures and all. Let's see if I can do it. I'm trapped in my conscience, my trap is still funky You get out of these hundreds, you know the real pharmacists You serve all the money, why should you show money? You shout at my money, it's gonna keep on falling The drug keep on falling library came back from getting some renewing from books should I say and I picked up some new books in the English fact and I'm now walking back 
and um, I'm listening to Steph London, real thing. I'm absolutely obsessed with Steph London at the moment. I don't know what it is, but I just love her. She's a real G. It's time to go home now. Hi Sarah. Hi. So as you can see I'm using iPhone because I can't find the charger for my bloody camera. What's this? The great or oh, your blind date. I feel really bad. I think I'm Oh, are you okay? No. Oh god, you don't look okay. I can't lie. So basically this morning I was like, oh god, sorry. Now that no, go on. Sarah's looking a bit sick, guys. Don't be right back. Sick. So, hey, beautiful people. So, I'm back in my room, and I'm literally just about to have some of this nasty food. It doesn't even look nice. Got food from Hall. Um, that's why I went to go and um, meet Sarah. Um, because I haven't cooked. I haven't even got groceries. I need to go food shopping. Like, literally, I have no food. Um, I might do it as the shop tonight, actually. All depends. But, anywho just gonna eat and i'm just gonna get on with some work i've got an essay to do dissertation work to do so i'm literally gonna yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you guys i'm so tired but i've got so much work to do so yeah i got to go i'll see you guys in a bit so guys i thought i'd just jump in to explain what's happening because there's so much stuff here and it's all muddled and all crazy. So what you guys just saw was basically a couple of normal days of me being at Cambridge. I can literally say to you, third year is so boring. Like there's no, third year is just boring because all you're doing is just work, just work, 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 work. So that's what you basically saw. But then um, after a few days or a couple of weeks into the term, the back chat reunion happened. So beautiful people. Of course. Yo, with a wonderful biscuit, baby. Oh, oh, I know you're oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Are you mad? Are you <laughs> actually Boyfriend, don't kill me. I'm not bad. Don't worry, I'll kill it for you. I'll kill it for you. I'll kill it for you. Say hi, guys. Say hi, say hi. Oh. Right, so let me give you guys a quick, quick uh, intro as to what's happening. As you can see, my makeup's like very extravagant right Basically, now. Basically, let me tell you right. what's really okay, happening. Right, okay, go on, tell them, tell them. This is Kim Lee. This is Kim Lee. Yeah. Like 25 minutes late. Guys. Now we're at meet and greet. Yeah. She's looking fleeky. Well, you know, now that she's off the market. Oh, the, yeah, sorry. Can't. All, all by um, Fola. Fola, aka Lake Sanu. I'm going to put her thing there. Anywho, today is the back chat reunion. We have yeah. a meet and greet with some beautiful, beautiful ladies over here. Let me see if I can quickly say hi, ladies. I love them so much. Back chat to the world and back. Hope they enjoy. Turn up today. So you better hold your boyfriend. You got a boyfriend, but I like. I got one. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Oh, um, what's your channel? Everybody, pull out my channel. B double I S K I T eighty eight. Hit me up, people. Don't hold out my channel. Hold out my page. Go goes life. That's G O G O Z L I F E on every platform. I'm so done. There we go. Oh, 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 shifting. Okay, okay, okay. Back chat to the world and back. We're in the left, guys. It says 17 persons. Look at this one. Mm, uh, uh, wait, are we? Are there too many people in here? Oh, 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 Ariet! Don't come inside, Ariette. 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 It's not close, guys, and no, I'm. Oh! Hey, come on, Electra! Come on, Electra! Is it fourth floor? She's gonna go all the way up to the fourth floor. When she starts sweating all her makeup off. Do you know where the shirt is from? Hey, back chat to the world and back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back chat to the world and back. Oh, yeah, back chat to the world and back. DJ, DJ Matthews. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. DJ! Let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Hi, come, 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 come. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not in the video. I'm not in the video. Oh my god. Hi. 
as you can tell, I didn't really film a lot of the back chat um, reunion. I really wish I gave my camera to someone, not my camera, my phone to someone to film, but I just didn't think of it at the time. It was so hectic that day. Like literally, we were so busy the entire day that I didn't even really think twice about it. But the reunion was really dope. It was really, really interesting. I'm sure by now you guys have watched um, the reunion over on the back chat channel make sure you subscribe to back chat as well if you haven't done done so already um but if you want to see more you can check out more footage on biscuits channel check out biscuits channel make sure you subscribe to him as well um but he had a lot more footage from the reunion but anywho after the reunion literally within about a week or something i think it was a couple of days or a week i was then in the house of parliament um talking about sexism in the workplace from the perspective of a creative yeah I have been really, really busy. I'm not playing, I'm not playing at all, but this is what basically happened. Uh, okay, so I'm with my sister right now, and we I are always at, wear a scarf on your vlog. I don't know, do you? Yes. Yeah, you time. do. I don't know if you guys can see it, right? But we are at the, what's it called? Pronounce the name. Particulous House, I think. Okay. Portillus House. Oh. House of Parliament, Portillus House, in Westminster. I don't know if you can see. Um, well, right, I'm going to be speaking today about sexism in the workplace. Really excited. Someone's coming to get us because we're in the queue, but we're not supposed to be in the queue. Someone's coming to get us. And um, my sister will be taking over, and hopefully, you guys will enjoy the bits that you do see of what happens today. It should be a very interesting conversation all about sexism in the workplace, amazing stuff. So, are you excited? Yeah. My sister's 16, but I take her to this stuff because she needs to, you know, develop her thinking to get her ready for the future. Yeah? Look at your face. <laughs> she looks so cute. Aww. Thanks. Anyway, we'll see you guys when we get inside. Um, I am a student at the moment studying English literature at the University of Cambridge. Um, but alongside that, I do basically all the online stuff that um, hopefully I can teach you a little bit about. So I am a YouTuber, so online, my name is Missy T. Um, I create my own content. Alongside that as well, I do a whole bunch of other media related things. So I present, I host events, um, I'm a freelance presenter, so people hire me to do events, etc. Um, anything that basically means I get to speak, I love doing. It. So, <laughs> this is so without further ado, um, we're just. I think my experience is probably going to be um, a little bit different um, because obviously I haven't finished university just yet, and I think at university, especially maybe is something to do with our generation, but there is the kind of um, expectation that people are tolerant and that people are understanding and respectful of each other. Obviously, when I go out into the working world, I know for a fact that's probably going to be different, but um, me being me, I would probably got stuck to that, got stuck to that. But um, in terms of online presence, um, so I know that you know YouTube, for example, it allows people to make content, to make comments, sorry, in instantaneous. Maybe it's just the way that I've been raised, but also to know that if I do experience something that I believe is not um, is not decent, or I believe that has disrespected me as a person, as a woman, as a person of color, whatever it is, I should still be able to have a say. And yes, it may not necessarily be escalated to the point whereby, oh well, you know, I'm, I don't know that person gets fired, which probably won't happen anyway. But just the fact that we need to be having those conversations, and I don't think that you should, especially as young people, be intim intimidated by that. As a young person, you have every right to voice an opinion or something that you believe is not right. Because if you don't say anything, you're gonna stay in that company and 10, 15, 20 years down the line, nothing will change. Now there are women who are married and who are making way more money than their husbands and good on them, you know? Um, and it could be the other way around, but still just um, teach our young people and the next generation, even if that's our siblings as well, even as a woman, you have a responsibility to teach um, your siblings to have an equal amount of respect for man or woman, just human, just a human being in general. You know, you mentioned another is not racism. For me, it's a double whammy. I'm not only a woman, but I'm also black. So for me, if I heard somebody um, saying something that they shouldn't have been saying in terms of my race, that for me cuts very deep. Therefore, I must say something. So I think it depends on how you engage with that conversation, and we we do need to, you know, not necessarily just see it as as sexism as a whole, but also see it as well, will sexism affect someone differently if they came from maybe a low income background rather than a middle class background? We have all of it. You know, you, you've um, you pointed out some very very good points. You know, there's some women of it in this room that are probably going to go into be, you know, the next people going into Tim Downing Street or the next politicians or the next 
whatever it is. And then some of us will be women who go into, you know, other areas of work. But at the end of the day, why can't we, as women, tackle all of these different areas? We can change law, we can change policy. That's if, like you said, we stand up for what we believe in and we um, actively, we are actively trying to make those differences and those changes. But also, you can be a woman in the workplace that feels as though this, I don't like what is happening right here and I'm going to go and say something or speak to HR or do whatever it is. At the end of the day, there doesn't have to be a limit. Why do we have to box it up or limit it? At the end of the day, we can, we can literally, and I know that sounds very ambitious, but I'm a very ambitious person. I literally believe in changing the world. That's, that's my view. And maybe it is a naive way of looking at the world, but I will continue to look at the world like that until I'm already not to, um, which will be when I die. So, <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, I believe that as women, you shouldn't even have to even ask that question. I didn't think you do what you believe that you need to do to make sure that there is a change for women. So, that was me speaking at the Houses of Parliament. It was a huge, huge honour. Um, shout out to Uprising, the organisation that invited me to come and speak. Um, it was, it was, yeah, it was amazing. The panellists, the other panellists were amazing. The people that attended were amazing as well. Um, but yeah, then I was obviously back in Cambridge and yes I do do work I do a lot of work but people just don't obviously see that because I don't always show you guys that I'm working um obviously I show you guys when I'm out doing something other than work so you guys always think I'm I'm doing other stuff but that's not really the case um so yeah obviously I was doing a lot of work and then it was like the end of term but even though I stayed in Cambridge I was basically back in London again yeah I know hey guys welcome okay welcome back to my channel so yes i'm using my iphone still to vlog because i still can't find the charger for my camera i might actually go and see today if um i can find another one anyway i've got a train to catch so i'm gonna hurry up but i just wanted to show you guys what i'm wearing so i'm literally in some like kind of like washed blue jeans from pull and bear um in some knee-high heeled boots I don't know if you can see, excuse my clothes just on the floor there. But yeah, heeled boots from Public Desire. This is like an old baggy black, it's see-through, but I'm wearing a vest underneath. See-through jumper from H&M. And um, this pasty, pinky um, jacket from Pull and Bear as well. And my hair from All Shades Cover. I just wanted to add a bit of curl to the bottom, so... I feel like my hair looks cute and my face I don't know if you are gonna be able to see my face but I was playing around with pink I look so chubby oh my god oh and my choker is from eBay I just typed in chokers and it was like two pounds or something I have put on so much weight guys but don't worry soon come losing weight and that um I was playing around with pink eyeshadow today don't know if y'all can see that but yeah anywho I have gaps to go because I'm running late so guys, I am back. So sorry for that really rushed, rubbish intro. And my hair is an absolute disaster. This is the weather outside. Though my hair is absolutely a shambles. But um, yeah, I gave you guys like a tiny quick introduction. Um, I'm actually proud of myself because I'm I'm normally I'm always running late for trains. But I guess because I've got like meetings and stuff, so I'm like, this is important. Let me see, this is important. But um, anywho. I'm on my way to London, um, just in case you don't know, I've stayed in Cambridge, it is the holidays, but I've stayed in Cambridge for a bit longer, simply because I just focus better when I'm in London, I mean when I'm in Cambridge, and obviously the library's just there, like I don't have to travel back and forth, um, all the books that I might need are there, so I decided to stay in Cambridge for this vacation, this holiday and um yeah just go back to london when i need to which today isn't is the day that i need to i've got two meetings today um so some possible well one with oh my arm is hurting damn girl lazy ass um i feel so chubby today i feel like i just look like a complete chub chub but yeah um what was i gonna say <sighs> i've got first meeting I don't really know if I want to give too much away. I know that's always really annoying when people do that. They're like, uh, I've got this happening. and But I don't want to give too much away because nothing is concrete yet. And I don't want to say it and then it doesn't happen or whatever. And yeah, so 
um, first meeting really exciting um, and then I've got a, a second meeting a quick meeting with two girls that I actually mentor yes I'm a mentor I don't know why people would want my crazy ass to be their mentor but um, yeah so I've got a meeting with them and then we're going we're all going actually to a networking event um, by Ramar London Anywho, yes, as I was trying to say, um, yeah, there's a networking event today by Ramal London, it's called The Mainstream. Um, if you weren't there, because you'll be watching this when the event has already passed, then you probably would have missed out. I can imagine it's going to be a great event. I've seen some of the names that are going to be there, some of the people speaking. It's going to be really dope. Um, you know, it's for like-minded people. People are constantly asking me about how to better yourself, how to um, learn new skills, how to meet new people, how to get better at networking, how to, um, I don't know, just really push yourself, push your brand, um, really find your feet in terms of the media industry and all that kind of stuff. Um, and this is just one of the ways that I have learned to do all of those things by going to networking events, being present, putting myself in uncomfortable situations, speaking to people, even if it's just me going to networking events by myself, it doesn't mean that I have to go with a whole group of people. You know, sometimes people will be like, oh, I'm not really on it, or you'll find that a lot of your friends are not really into the industry that you want to go into um, and so for them that type of networking event just wouldn't make sense so you do find that you have to go to these we events yourself um, and yeah you just have to be comfortable with that and um, yeah I'm excited uh, so that's later on in the evening after the two meetings but you guys are going to come along with me so I'll show you guys as my day goes along today um, the meeting that I just had was really dope we discussed loads um, loads of ideas flowing possible collaborations and things happening so I'm super excited um, but you guys will all get to see that when as and when it happens um, and also the lady that came to meet me brought me flowers <gasps> how nice is that I've never had anyone buy me flowers when I went to a meeting ever so that was really really nice of her um, but yeah she bought me flowers because she's running a little bit late but I ain't my head it's okay bought me flowers and I'm staying I'm gonna stay in Starbucks for a little bit longer um, I'm just gonna send a couple of emails <sighs> there's always stuff to do so you know emails post a couple of things on like Instagram and stuff um, and then I'm gonna make my way to, I'm going to Finsbury Park. I'm currently in Liverpool Street, and then I'm gonna make my way to Finsbury Park after this. Look at my under eye. They've been watering, so my makeup has come off. I'm gonna fill in these gaps, and then make my way to Finsbury Park for meeting number two. So, hey guys. Um, so. I'm here with the beautiful Remy and Stop the beautiful it. Sharon. Hi Look at them looking fabulous. <laughs> we um, literally just wrapped up, so that was second meeting with my two wonderful, amazing. Look at this guy just walking in the middle of the street. People are mad, you know, here. We are currently in Finsbury Park and um, just sat down with these two beautiful, amazing people. Hi guys. My two mentees. You know, it makes me so happy to say that <laughs> I actually mentor people. It's mad. Oh, yeah. But um, yeah, we sat down, we had a chat. 
sorry guys, I'm sorted. just trying to find the location for today. Wait, 12, it's 11 minutes on bus and 11 minutes um Walk. walk really so we might as well walk it we might as well walk we can speed walk jack i think it yeah, will be no, short right. it will be shorter by if we because it always says 11 minutes then it's like yeah. five four three two one it better be honestly i hope so <laughs> anywho we are on our way to the event that i'd mentioned earlier remote london's event this, like, the main street it says straight okay cool um and basically we thought it was closer than it actually is but we're gonna get there we'll make it um, and so when I went on to university, where I studied English and politics in Kiel, um, I just thought, well, work experience for me is clearly the way to go, it's yeah. the way to develop, and that is exactly what I set out to do. I just, in my free time, I worked for free and applied for jobs. And, you know, at first I did the classic, how to become a TV presenter. Yeah. I would just Google we'll that. Tried it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where are the accents? Why can no one tell me? Um, and then I started to look on the BBC website, which to this day is my favourite website for a job search because I just think it's very clear, it's very black and white. To go from um, BBC Switch where, you know, this was all without an agent. I didn't have a man uh, have management or anything like that. And to go from being, you know, someone on TV, someone who's interviewing, you know, Justin Bieber one day, Tiny Temper the next. I mean, these were people who were just coming in and out of my life all the time. And to go from that to be like, actually, you're not coming to work tomorrow, um, that's actually really hard to take. And I'll be honest, at first I was like, well, I don't, I mean, obviously the something's going to come up very soon yeah. and so i did the whole thing where i stayed at home i applied for jobs i did that i did this and that but i wasn't getting paid guys yeah. it just hurt and i i just would not let that you know i am i personally am more than my weave i'm more than my afro i'm more than the color of my skin right. and so whatever come at me if you want me to stand here with a weave i'll do it and i'll smash it yeah. with or without the weave like <laughs> it's fine <laughs> with conviction yeah. i was good at my call center job <laughs> i was good at my retail jobs and i was good at my bar jobs and actually you have to be good at your side jobs to make it so that you are indispensable mm -hmm. when you need to ask for that time off for your auditions for whatever it is that you want to do outside of yeah. that job, you need to be good. Uh, my mum was a cleaner, and she was such a good cleaner. And what, one of my first clean, uh, one of my first jobs was actually as a cleaner. And I remember how proud it was when I became a key holder. Uh, and I was like, I made it. That, you job. made it. Yeah. That's actually <laughs> the levels. That's actually the <laughs> level. And everything has a level, and yeah. there's nothing to be ashamed of when you're earning. It's all, it all helps. So yes, that was another busy ass day. It was a really, really good day, but super, super busy. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna take you guys back to basically the beginning of this vlog where I was actually filming the Being at Cambridge vlog. Um, and yeah, it's gonna have a really abrupt ending. So I'm really sorry in advance, but just because I didn't actually film anything else on that day. Literally guys, my life has been, my dissertation, my life has been, just focusing on work. It's third and final year. Like I said to you guys before, I got a two one in first year. I got a two two. Um, I mean, two one. Go by. I wish I got a two two in first year. I got a two two in second year, and I'm really not trying to play games. So, um, <laughs> I've just been doing work. So I am still going to be doing being at Cambridge vlogs. So welcome back to the being at Cambridge vlogs. Um, but I am going to say sorry in advance because life is really not that interesting as a third year believe it okay but anyway i hope that you enjoy the rest of this vlog um you guys know that i love you thank you for your patience with me always uni is not a joke guys make sure you are mentally emotionally stable to come to uni because lord knows um but anyway i'm gonna see you guys again very very soon in another being at cambridge vlog so watch this space make sure you like subscribe and share all of that good stuff i'll see you guys soon so right now the library. I'm trying to find a whole bunch of different books. Sorry if the lighting's really crap. So, guys, I've been so stressed out. Like, I can't even lie to you guys. Okay, I'm on floor three. Let me see if I can. So I found the three 
the books that I'm looking for in this maze of a library. I have just fetched another book. Basically, what that means is if the book is not out, someone will basically go and find it for you and then put it somewhere in the reading room. He's going to pick it up. And I'm about to go and see if they found my book. And then I'm going home because I'm tired. And the library shuts in like 20 minutes. But yeah. So I was just about to be very very happy and say success, I got the books that I needed. Essentially, let me give you guys a really really good tip for those that are writing their dissertations. So I did this kind of 90% but I really should have made sure I did this 100%. But obviously they always say don't leave your reference until the last minute, make sure that you're referencing as you go along otherwise it gets really long trying to find the text that you obviously used before and then finding page numbers and stuff i did that for most of the part but basically it just got to a point in some of my work where i just stopped referencing like okay i didn't stop completely referencing so i was still referencing a little bit um not a little bit but like for example i put the page not the page sorry i'd put like the title of the book blah 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 blah, blah all that stuff so the title of the book all of that jazz but i wouldn't put the page number so now i've had to come all the way here to the library just so that i could find these three stinking books just so that i can reference them so literally i can just look at the page and just make sure because i i think i've got the references somewhere but i'm not 100 percent sure if if i'll be able to find them so because the library was gonna close i just said you know what let me just come collect the books and be safe because i'm going back to london tomorrow tomorrow's friday i'm going back to london dissertation is due on monday and obviously i don't think the library's open on saturday so anyway all long just reference properly okay don't be like nissy off to the bus stop just missed the bus so it's probably going to be another 15 minutes guys please tell me why this bus is saying 45 minutes i'm gonna wait 10 and hope that it comes if it doesn't i'm walking <laughs> 